Hello guys, welcome back. Now we are going to show the plane animation in this class. For that, we need to create an integer variable called plane frame. To keep track of the plane frame currently displaying. And so this plane frame will be incremented here in on draw and if the plane frame becomes 15 it should be initialized to 0 once again now we have created uh, two variables called plane x and plane y now, what should be the plane x value? The plane should come from the right edge of the emulator or the real device. So, the plane x should be the whole width of the screen plus some random value, right? So, over here, let's make, just cut these two lines. And test over here. Plane X should be the D width plus some random value. Now, for random, let's create an object of random. Import. and instantiate this variable random dot next int and we can pass some value and we are passing the value of 200 that means some value between 0 to 199, right? So uh, plane X is initialized with the full width of the screen plus some random value between 0 to 199. And what should be the plane Y? The plane Y may be 100. Between 0 to 100, right? It can be 0 also, or it can be 99. Okay, now let's draw the plane. Drawing of plane is pretty straightforward and it is just the same way we have used earlier using the canvas object, obviously. So, canvas dot draw bit map. And here we can pass the array, plane array, and we are using the plane frame. For lift, we can use the plane x, and we can use the plane y for top. And we are not using any paint, so let's make it null. Right. So this is how one plane object or plane image will be drawn in the canvas. Now we have to make it in a motion way, in an animated way. That is, uh, we need to move the plane image, and for that there should be some kind of velocity for plane. Right. Now for velocity of the plane. We can use another integer variable. So let's create one. And let's make some value of 20. And from the plane X,
this value should be detected every time on row is called right so plain x minus equals to plain blue list so every time on row is called plain x the value of plain x will be deducted by 20 so the plane will animate from right to left because the x value will be reduced now if the x value it is a plain x value less than plane width now how we can get the plane width we can create another two variables for plane width and plane height we need one object or one array element for plane and we can call the get with method and the same way we can get the height all the plane images have the same width and height so We have instantiated the plane width and height. Now, if the plane x is less than minus plane width, so that means the plane has totally gone away from the left edge. So, we need to reappear the plane after some time. For that, this plane x should be instantiated with the same value that we have used here also plane y should be random that's all let's see what we get over here We're not getting anything at this moment yeah that's good because we have to create a runnable object and we have to create an object of type handler in the next video we will see that